Hi everybody. Pardon me. It's Faith and Fire Sign Terra. I hope everyone's well. Taurus! It's finally your turn. We've made it to the end. Thank you for your patience. I appreciate you. You guys have waited a long time. But we're here. And I'm getting it done tonight. The work week top and bottom reading may have to wait until tomorrow morning. And we'll do it nice and fresh at, or, or tomorrow afternoon, depending on what time I actually get home from my bread and butter job. Hopefully I don't oversleep again, as I commonly do on a Monday. It's not uncommon for me to sleep right through the alarm. Anywho. This reading will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if it resonates with you. Cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If you would think you might like something that may resonate a little bit better, check your moon, rising, or Venus sign reading. It might work for you. Who knows? Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa may play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And cross watchers are always welcome here. Come on in. Have a seat. We're hydrating. Life is beautiful. Plenty of bottled water. Okay. Enough battling. Let's get it on the table for Taurus. End of June. Taurus, why are you here? Ten of Pentacles. Wow. That's the dream. That's, I'm going to say it because I love saying it. That is the big brick house with the white picket fence and the 2.5 kids and the dog and the happiest of happy jazz right there. Life is good. So why are you here? That's a good question. People very seldom come see me when life's going good, so we're going to get the goods right here. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Hang man in reverse. They may be, you may feel like they're a little bit hung up on something emotionally or not accepting the fate of a situation. Okay. What do you think of them? Judgment in the reverse. I'm going to throw a clarifier on that. That, that might be a return card. What do you want from them? Princess of Pentacles. That's an olive branch card. Okay. I'm getting a sudden feeling that you may be dealing with someone you've been in separation from. How do they feel about you? Tower reversed. They feel like you've risen back up from the ashes. You're doing well. Okay. Or maybe they're catching a feeling like they might want to rebuild something with you. What do they think of you? Ten of swords. Again, you're doing well. You've been through the worst of it. The sun is shining in your world. What do they want from you? The King of Cups. Oh my. Hmm. That's like a 10-gallon cup of love, given and received. Wow. Okay. Hmm. What's the obstacle? Eight of Swords reversed. Someone getting over their fear. 
Hmm. What can be done? Princess of Wands reversed. No action taken. Hmm. Okay. Well, I haven't touched you guys yet today, so I'll clarify with this here deck. A little steampunk deck, and we will figure out what's going on. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the table and the cards for Taurus, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for the end of June. Why is the hangman reversed here? Three of wands. You feel like they waited for a long time. They have been emotionally hung up for a minute. So they have not accepted the fate of the situation. They are waiting. They are biding their time. Why is judgment reversed here? Double reversed. You think maybe they may be trying to return, disconnecting from some of their old bad habits, or someone they were disconnected from, or you know, they needed to disconnect from. Why is the Princess of Pentacles here? Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> I just heard that, that um, you want them to put more work in. They need to do some more self-work. Like, that's a cute little olive branch, but you have some more work you need to do. Wow. Why is the tower reversed here for how the other person feels about Taurus? Hi. King of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You have rebuilt from the ashes. It was slow going, but you got there. You are large and in charge. You got money in the bank. You're doing good. You are doing good. That's how they feel about you. You definitely have something they want. Why is Ten of Swords here? Three of Cups, Temperance Reverse, Four of Swords Reversed. What do they think of you? You threw the worst of it? You're going out, you're having fun, you're celebrating, but they still think you're a little bit restless and maybe a little bit impatient. Okay. Why is the kind of cups here? Perhaps they're being impatient with this connection. Or their own ability to let the sun shine again in their life. Take it however it resonates. Queen of Cups lands on top of a King of Cups. Taurus. They want a match set. They want you back. Wow. 
Why is the Age of Swords reversed here? That's the obstacle. Somebody needs to come out of being all wrapped up in something? I dropped them. They did not follow their own volition. Star came out. The healing. Somebody still needs to heal. Positive energy flow. Mutually acknowledged connection. Oh my. Lots of cards come flying out. Page of Swords reversed. King of Swords reversed. Hermit reversed. Hanging Man reversed. Wow. Somebody may not be listening to what the other person is trying to say. It's like, Head in the sand, not accepting it, has a horrible attitude about it. Somebody definitely needs to heal and just unwrap themselves from this. I don't know if it's you or the person you're dealing with, Taurus, but somebody is just very restless and all kinds of fired up because they want you back. I remember all things can be vice versa. You could want them back, but I'm getting a feeling that they want what you got, Taurus. Why is the Princess of Wands reversed here for what needs to be done? Ace of Cups. One more. And three comes flying out. Three is what we will read. Six of Pentacles. Four of Cups reversed, Page of Cups reversed. I'm hearing stop. Put your money where your mouth is. Stop ignoring the cup that's being handed to you. Start fresh and new on an le even level playing field. If you're not already doing well, this is where you have the potential to be. Or if you are doing well, maybe that's why they came back. Possibilities are endless. But make sure that playing field's level before you do anything because you want them to put a little bit more self work in. They just want you. Take some advice. <laughs> oh, Grandma, I love it when you pop up. I don't know how many of you have heard me speak of my grandmother and heard me tell the story of when, um, my ex-husband and I got married because we were separated for like 12 years. We were high school sweethearts. We didn't talk for like 12 years. We found each other again and we ended up getting married. And how I cried, practically cried on her shoulder at the picnic table, snipping the ends off beans, just talking like grandmothers and granddaughters talk. And she says to me, if it leaves, let it go. If it comes back, you know it's meant to be. There's potential in the second go round. There's definite potential, but you need to make sure they're on the level. You need to make sure that you're both on the same page and the energy flow is positive. And they're not coming back for the not right reasons. Three of swords reversed, nine of swords reversed. You need to come out of that state of heartbreak and come out of that state of not being able to sleep at night. Don't let this consume you. Don't let this consume you.
Three of Pentacles reversed and the Eight of Wands reversed. If the foundation for something abundant and stable is not there, do not move forward with it. Trust your instincts on this one. The Knight of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, last little bit of advice. Make sure you know what there is to know. And you have to ask yourself, why are they back? I'm doing pretty good right now. How good are they doing? Are they in Nine of Pentacles right now? I know it's a horrible thing to say, but a lot of times people wait until they know that you're doing pretty good. And then they come crawling back. People are crappy like that. It's a horrible thing, but it is what it is. So just be aware. If they come back and you allow it, make sure they're coming back for the right reason. Okay? Taurus, thank you for your patience. I love you guys. You guys are wonderful. And with this, the cycle is complete for the end of June. So, yeah. Gonna take a day off, maybe, and then kick the readings off for July. And I'll make the announcement now and make the announcement the next couple uploads I do. July and August, possibly September. Everybody's getting one Zodiac reading unless I change my mind between now and then because I got stuff going on and I got stuff I got to deal with and I got to take care of me. So, Taurus, know that you love to be blessed. Thank you for your patience. Love you to bits. Catch you next time.